new sources of revenue. You can imagine our food, uh, the uh, upstream production uh, uh, sources are uh, increasing by the day uh, because you now have local players in the uh, EMP space. Uh, so that's going to continue to increase. Uh, I mean, in fact, there's now somewhat lots in the EMP market. Um, I, our consumption is still well be, below half a million tons uh, for a country of 160 million people. So there's too much gas in the country and uh, not to be to even consider whether or not the LPG as a fuel for us is uh, sustainably um, uh, supply side is sustainable. Supplies for supply of LPG in country in Nigeria is very sustainable. And that's why uh, the state governments now and the federal government is beginning to really now look seriously about uh, uh, supporting the use of LP gas as against uh, kerosene, for example, which is important. LP gas is locally produced. The refineries are producing LP gas. We have three main refineries in this country. The LNG is produced in marginal fields are produced so that many production sources. The Lagos State, for example, uh, launched the coal gas project. They launched it because they know that the supply of LP is sustainable. Lagos State is the, the, is the distributed free cylinders, the small size cylinders to homes, free of charge, so that uh, you know more and more people will be pushing into the MPG, like I said earlier. So if it wasn't sustainable, Lagos State government would not be doing that. Federal government would not be uh, thinking today very seriously about uh, a switch from kerosene to um, kerosene. <laughs> Why you they go? I they rush to buy cooking gas and burner before I die. You come, they waste my time. Cooking gas and burner. I beg, Madam Area, what is not consigned that one? Come consign that now. My dear, I see GTHI people today. When come shine touch light for my eyes. Hey, I won't use my hand, kill myself. Oh, Mary, bye bye. Wait, please. Wait, please. Consign GTHI. Cooking gas and burner will die. Now, GTHI, now that's to health initiative. And then they preach how many people they use cooking gas. Where they come up from then, no good for our body. My people, this mandatory. Where gas to health initiative carry come. All that Yamayama smoke, where they come up, when would they use firewood and kerosene? No good. If they kill us more, more. I beg, let me try leave them. They use cooking gas. GTHI, efficient energy for healthy living. This message is brought to you by Gas to Health Initiative in partnership with PPM. In case you're just tuning in, the program is Cook to Live. Cook to Live is powered by Gas to Health Initiative. With us today on the program is Mr. Nuhu Yakubo. He is the MD CEO of Banner Energy. He is also the Deputy President of the Nigerian LP Gas Association. We've had a wonderful time with him and we're taking it to the next level. Um, we do a lot of challenges in the LP gas industry today. You know, what are those challenges and how do you think those challenges could be overcome in 2015? Thank you. Uh, the challenges uh, that, uh, that we see at the association level uh, is one of uh, safe use of LPG. If we're promoting the large use of LPG uh, over and above the other uh, traditional fuels, then we have to begin to uh, seriously uh, propagate safe use of LPG through uh, programs uh, anchored with uh, uh, bodies like yours, the Gas to Health Initiative, uh, NGOs, uh, governments, and what have you, to make sure that people understand exactly how to use gas, from how to light a gas stove, to understanding how to store a cylinder, for understanding how to identify good uh, accessories over bad ones, identifying how to isolate uh, an incident, a fire incident, and all that. Uh, these are the issues, so there's a need for a serious awareness creation uh, across board so that in uh, local languages that people can understand, so that they can understand how to uh, uh, begin to appreciate these of them. Okay, um, you know what, we like it on the program when we have somebody that knows so much about the industry. So permit us because we're going to be throwing so much questions at you and we hope you do come back again, won't you? Of course, we always come back. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, this is what we do for a living, so we wake up every day thinking of the change. Wow. So um, we're disposed to uh, reply to any questions you want to ask. Okay. Um, as a person, Mr. Nuhu, 
who is the MD of a company that is a big player in the industry and also the deputy president of the Nigerian LP Gas Association. What are your projections for 2015? What do you expect to see in the LP Gas industry in 2015? Thank you. Uh, 2015, is, uh, we are uh, looking at uh, increased uh, LPG supply demand. Uh, we are looking at uh, minimum uh, volume consumption of at least 250,000 metric tons. That is if we don't hit the 300,000 metric tons uh, uh, target. Uh, and then uh, beyond 2015, uh, uh, set targets about 1 million tons of LPG per annum. And for that, it depends on uh, the, uh, the fiscal incentives that the federal government is going to put in on the table. That is why we are actively working with the federal government to see how we can define those incentives and get them to get their buy -in. We believe with the buy-in of the federal government uh, in the, into our, our, this industry, we can easily uh, raise uh, the income consumption to 1 million tons from the 200,000 tons it is as of 2014 and 250,000 uh, uh, tons were projected for 2015. And also there's a need for uh, the federal government to begin to consider uh, 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 currency swap, swaps uh, with LPG stops. Um, just as it does uh, down in Indonesia, Brazil, and many other countries, in India, and what have you, that have uh, done the same thing. That was suffering under the uh, heavy weight of the subsidy, of, uh, the subsidy uh, costs uh, on, the, on healthy fuels. Nigeria is not left out. So Nigeria is spending so much money subsidizing fuels that are unhealthy. If it, just a little fraction of that sum is, is, uh, is channeled towards uh, kerosene to LPG swaps or um, firewood to LPG stove swaps, I'm sure uh, in-country consumption will be higher and the country will be better for it because we're saving a lot of money and subsidies, subsidy savings will be high. That helps build savings on the federal government will be high uh, so, and uh, revenue income for the federal government will be high and the multiplier effect will be uh, on the backward and forward in this side, employment generation uh, for our youth, uh, millions of youth to be employed. So my projection for the year I'm looking forward is good. I think the future is looking good for LPG. Yeah, the future is looking good for LPG. Hmm. It's like we should just go on and on and on and on. But looking at my time, I can see that, oh, we need to leave the studio. But I promise us that you'll be here again. Anytime. Like I have a million questions Anytime. to ask you, which I've not asked. And then we usually have a custom, but we don't have enough time for that. So prepare yourself, because next time when you're on the program, you must speak to the people in our native language. This is where you don't scratch your eyes. Now what is the matter? But Junior, I don't tire for this thing. If this one a firewood, this one a kerosene so. You know the hell of a at all. Where is the matter? Oh, God, my God. This kerosene for hell don't do much for me. Oh. I don't tire for this thing. Oh. Eh? I don't want to die. Oh. Ah, when I never hear. Here yeah, waiting. When I never hear of cooking gas. Cooking okay, waiting. Eh? Not be that big man thing. Cooking gas, not be big man thing. Oh. He there for camp gas. He there for table burner. They get them for oven. You never finish your cooking can get cheap, you they cook fast, you know they bring sickness for body, and you know they carry Nama Nama Empire of the month. But you know, I don't know that you they cook chef. Everywhere goes in there like you nothing they happen. Ah, but my junior, now that cooking gas where you buy for me, I don't say solidicate every day. Cooking gas, now you be go. This message is brought to you by Gas to Health Initiative in partnership with PPMC. So we come over your way again, same time, same station. My name is Darigo Talama. Many thanks to Program Coordinator Gas to Health Initiative, Mr. Benedict O.G. and the Board of Trustees Gas to Health Initiative, who, as I say, always make it possible for the program to be on the airwaves. So we come your way again. It's goodbye.